Hey everybody, it's Mike Young, a digital nomad.net and also founder of the Tesla High Mileage Club at teslahighmileageclub.com. Denise and I are just walking out here and I wanted to make this video because I've spent the last week almost moderating comments in the group for like our biggest post ever, which has already reached about 3 million people. And it revolves around the fact that somebody bought an 11 year old Model S and the battery pack went bad. That's a short story. What we want to find out, and the reason for this video is, what's the estimated useful life of your battery pack? Denise and I are traveling, we're in Gainesville, Florida right now, and we kind of live and work out of the car. And the car is almost seven years old. And I have a lot of mileage, I got 260,000 just about at this point in time. I'm almost at 3,000 supercharged sessions. The battery pack's still going. What we're finding out, and from reading all these comments and the input, is like Denise and I were talking about this morning, you don't have to deal with this with an ice only vehicle. You got an engine, they rarely go out or sometimes they go out way early, but either way you replace it, it's not that much money. In this case, a Model S or X, which has the Panasonic cells, 18650s, I think it is. They're the more expensive ones that are made in Japan. And that pack costs about $16,500. <laughs> okay, so the reality is I'm thinking about this that you should have the expectation if you drive a battery electric vehicle, Denise, have you, what do you think about this? That every 10 years, your pack will no longer be reliable. 10 years is about what you're gonna get out of a lithium ion or a lithium iron phosphate LFP, which is the new stuff without cobalt. What do you think, Denise? Is that re a reasonable expectation? Every, every electric vehicle driver replace that pack every 10 years? Yeah, because just, just like the, batteries that you might put in your electronic devices, like a, a wireless mouse, for example, even if you're using it every day, after a while, the batteries are going to get old. So it seems like about 10 years is the average lifespan for battery packs on a hybrid or electric vehicle. Yeah, we have a hybrid too. We have a Lexus hybrid, it's 11 years old, it's also 2012, and we're thinking now, well, we're going to have to replace that pack. It's just going to go bad. And what do we do? Do we get a new one? Because if you get a new one, you get another 10 years. So it depends on how long you're going to keep that vehicle. If you're going to keep it until it goes to the junkyard, then that sounds like probably a good investment for you. For a Tesla, if you're an older Tesla driver like us that has free and limited supercharging, also a really good investment for a brand new Tesla factory battery pack. But if you get a refurbished one, what's the life of that? I'm thinking like maybe five years max, really. I'm talking reliable lifespan where you're not taking the car in, right? That's the thing with older cars. When you're constantly taking them in for repairs, nobody wants to deal with that anymore, right? Yeah. That's like a massive headache. Nobody has that kind of time, even if you can afford the money. Right. Mm -hmm. I've had but, an older car, so I know. But if, if you have an older car and it's still in great shape and you're not taking it to the repair facility all the time, and, you want to get another 10 or 20 years out of it you might as well get a brand new battery pack that's yeah <laughs> yeah so like our yeah our hybrid which is going to go out that's what we'll do take it to test or take it to lexus or tell you to say put a brand new factory pack in we'll get another 10 years out of it because we haven't actually we haven't had any mechanical repairs on that ct200 that we have which is amazing i wish our tesla was like that but at least we have free supercharging so it'll still be you know for 10 years of driving sixteen thousand dollars and these prices will come down also for three and Y, they use the packs built in the United States or China or wherever. They're not Japanese cells. They're much less expensive. They're not like half price, but they're close to it. I think comment below if you know what those prices are. The other thing is if you go through Tesla and it's new and you swap out the packs, either with a refurbished pack at Tesla or a new one, then I am pretty sure that they recycle all the materials. People are like, oh, this is all throwaway, throwaway cars. You're destroying the environment. But if you're recycling the materials and the newer packs are coming out without cobalt, it's actually a really good system of just changing them out and reusing all those materials. So it's actually not that bad. You just need to factor this all in. That's why I'm making this video. I'm like, you have to factor it in. If you're a long-term owner, you know, go to teslahighmileageclub.com to learn more. You just need to be realistic that this is an expense you're gonna have. And if you're buying a used one, you need to get documentation. When did they change that battery pack? Have they changed it? Give us proof. Uh, read that uh, label on the pack, which tells you a lot in our group. We have all the discussions as to whether you can see if it's refurbished or not. Uh, because even if it's replaced under warranty, Tesla doesn't give you a new pack, they give you refurbished. So it's almost actually better to just, hopefully that your pack's gonna go maybe 10 years out of warranty because the maximum Tesla warranty is eight years on the packs and just buy a brand new one yourself if you want to be a real long-term owner like us, right? Yeah. 
So, or you're going to buy a new one. I mean, the new one, everything, the price is all coming down. So this may not even be relatable. It's 2023 prices, but hopefully the prices for everything, including the new cars and the replacement packs will come down. Give us all your comments. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can use the super thanks button too, if this is uh, valuable to you. And I'll see you in the next video. We're going to the bathroom now, right? <laughs> Bye. Uh, you probably didn't find that information helpful, but <laughs> if you found anything we said about the battery packs helpful, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and we're going to the bathroom. Bye.